My son have a big discussion on Mayweather and Parnell Whitaker as far as the defense fighter. Who's the better one of the two? Wow. We go this every night. We go this. I mean, that's that's tough. I mean, the era and Floyd, him. Floyd, yeah, the era. Because Parnell, you know, and I'm not taking anything for it. Parnell, mm -hmm. some great fighter. Tough too. era. Yeah, and being that Parnell was a lefty, mm -hmm. You know, it makes it a little different too because some of his defensive moves were more awkward, more natural sort of throwing moves. You know, he got low, very great. You know, he could punt. Um, I'm not saying Floyd can't. Floyd has mastered this sort of deception of distance range. You know, Floyd a lot of times when he gets in, when he got into that shoulder roll, whatever you want to call it, yeah. Philly shell, whatever. He didn't invent it. Yeah. That's been he called it the Mayweather years. defense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What he's done really good is he'll sit here, he'll stick that lead foot out here, right? And so you're here and you think he's still there. And he does this very well. Wow, okay. And he'll move off on that angle and counter you really well and then come back up. A lot of people say, well, he fights all the time in the shoulder roll. No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to his fights. He'll go into that defense on the shoulder roll. He'll counter off that shoulder roll. And if he wants to attack, he'll go back into a conventional stance right. and start attacking. And then when you pull off, then he'll drop back into the shoulder roll. So he's mastered that range, that perception to give you the thought that he's going to be there from there. And he's, boom, the pull. Nobody does a pull better than him. Pull counter, yeah. Right. He mastered counter, it. You know, he's a master. Right. You know, so you give him, you know, People can get into the debate. So yeah, how would he survive in the era of <laughs> of Hearns yeah. and and Sugar Ray and well, he never fought at 160, so forget Hagler. But you know, <laughs> those guys. You know, the guys with you know the great fighters right. back then, the Benitez's, the, the Durans. You know, and Pryor. Yeah, Aaron Pryor, who threw a lot of punches. You know, Aaron Pryor would probably have given anybody two time because he was just machine yeah. sort of wild with it coming from all yeah. kinds of different angles you know that that's an awkward style of the fight so, so are, you, are you saying that uh mayweather's uh the way he fought that that, that style he was just teaching the way he does it is he a better technician of, of, of yes Pinnell? would you favor him over Pinnell? I, I think that mayweather more mastered the angles okay. um the timing you get that timing to mm -hmm. consistently counter people over and over in a fight like that, people start to know now what you're doing, but he still pulls it off. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's he has that, that hair trigger on a gun. You know, it's kind of yeah, yeah. like the punches here, hey, you know. Mm. And so that takes a lot of work, a lot of practice. And, you know, I knew a lot of people, forget about what you see on Instagram, forget about yeah, yeah. Yeah. you like the opulence and the arrogance of right. when he shows the money. I knew people that worked with him, you know, when he was earlier in his career and through his career and said, man, nobody trains harder than him. Longer sometimes, you know, just, and it's not about training, hitting the back ha, 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 hard. Yeah. When he used to do the mitts slow like that, right, with Roger or whoever, you know, coming off the angles, people would go, oh, and I'd go, you don't understand why he's even doing it. Once I remember him explaining where he said, I want to be able to throw a punch from whatever angle I'm at, defensively. If I come here, then point. if I move here, then, 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 then. So that's why he would walk it. He would walk it back and forward and he would walk it forward because he's oh, trying wow. to say if he slipped in, boom. If yeah. he slipped this way, boom. And he would go slow with it, whatever. He's recording muscle memory in his body. People don't understand that. Wow. That's good so point. he would do this and do this, you know, this 6,000 punches a session, that kind of stuff. Jeez. You got to give him... Cut some of credit. Yeah. He Put was the not time the biggest in. puncher, but he was a great technician. You know, he was a great puncher when he was at 130. You know, like he was a machine gun. You know, the different style. But he knew himself enough to adapt to say, okay, these 47 guys are way bigger than me. <laughs> and my hands are brittle. His hands, his hands yeah, got yeah. brittle. And, you know, he had his hand problems, but it, well, there was not a big 47. Right. He, technically speaking, he's really a 40 pounder. Right. Okay. You know? And. You look at it and you go, well, he just put in the work to master wow. his craft. Thank you. you I know? like and, and Purnell was great, don't get me wrong, but I just think Purnell was more of just naturally sort of... Athletic you know, and quick and twitch. Yeah, it was just a, an 
and athleticism to him. Okay. There was sometimes fighters have this creative thing. Right. It's a little bit special than everybody else. Yeah. I think Pernell had that. You know, he had that yeah. that creativeness that this you can't tease at that everybody. Like he fought with a big imagination. Yeah, and I feel that Floyd is different, in like a different book, a different chapter, because I think Floyd just said, I'm gonna do this a hundred thousand times and I'm gonna master it. You know, and every angle, that's, that's crazy. I feel that that's the difference between the two. Wow. You know, obviously you can see, you know, even in the career, you know, people think that Floyd goes out and parties and drinks. No, he's just <laughs> at the place. Yeah. And it doesn't have. It's all for it's show. Not, yeah. not, it's all for show. Right. It's all for show. You know, with some other great fighters, unfortunately, yeah. that's not been it, and that's been the reason yeah. why sometimes they might have been greater than they were already. I want to ask you one more question that I 